hey y'all welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome in today's video i am talking about what nobody tells you about manifesting i am sharing my experience and y'all i got my wine glass with water because it's just it's just a vibe so let's get into it so the first thing when it comes to what nobody tells you about manifesting is you can manifest something easily one day and then the next day have a harder time manifesting it really just depends on a lot of things and it is frustrating if that does happen so people just don't talk about that i don't feel like enough like one day it can just be like oh my gosh i manifested this and then the next day you try and manifest the same thing and it doesn't work or you try and manifest something different and you're just having difficulty with this. I've experienced it. If you are manifesting, maybe you experience it, but it's just like, what's going on? And I know it can be a variety of things that can cause that. Like if you're not in a good headspace or just energy, if you don't really want it, if there's confusion there, it's just like so many things that can tie into it but it does happen and sometimes that that's just how it is and it's okay if one week you're just manifesting everything and then the next week not so much and that brings me into the next thing that nobody tells you about manifesting is you can manifest something and then just start to doubt yourself even though you manifested it and it's just like you're thinking you know maybe it just happened that way maybe it was a coincidence maybe this is from something else but you start to kind of not tie it to manifesting maybe this is just a one-time thing maybe i got lucky it happens you start to doubt yourself i've started to doubt myself on things when it's just like oh i can't do that again or can i do that again but you're just like hmm maybe it wasn't because I scripted it. Maybe it wasn't because I visualized. Maybe it wasn't because I was repeating it. Was that because I manifested? Or was it always gonna happen like that? So it kind of ties into what I just said before this one. If you're manifesting something easily and then you have a harder time manifesting and that can make you doubt yourself. Let me know if you've experienced any of these things that I'm talking about. And I think it's just normal. It's a part of the process. I feel like if you are new to manifesting, you could definitely start to, to doubt yourself after like the first time or the second time. It's understandable because this is just a new area that you've never experienced before. Intentionally manifesting is just different from how you've been living your life before. Once it works, it's just like, what? This works? Are you sure? Is someone playing a trick on me and you saying I can do this all the time? No. If you've manifest multiple things, it's not just a coincidence. There has to be something that's going on. I'm going to go on to the next thing that nobody tells you about when manifesting. You can feel completely connected one day and then maybe a week, a month, years later, you can feel totally disconnected. And this is kind of tied to spirituality. Let's say you're just really in tune, just really going hard on manifestation you're just so connected things are flowing to you and everything and then one day maybe you just feel disconnected where you don't want to manifest where things aren't flowing where you're not connected like before i feel like these things just come up during your manifestation journey i wouldn't say everybody will have this experience but i do think some people will be able to relate to this. It's okay if it does happen and just you're gonna get through it. The next thing I wanna get into when it comes to what nobody tells you about manifesting is you may start to think that what you're doing is wrong. A lot of you probably have seen this places with people talking about manifesting being evil, sinful, and just things like that. And they even come on these videos to talk about it. So like people will comment. That is is a part of something that people don't tell you about when it comes to like manifesting is you will have those people and that could be maybe your family or your friends because they'll have their thoughts you know about what you're doing and people on social media who maybe follow you they'll have opinions about what you're doing and just knowing that people 
will think these things. I think at the end of the day, if you're happy with your decision, you're not hurting anyone, you're not hurting yourself, I think, you know, do what you want. But at the same time, it also depends on what you believe in. It's a choice at the end of the day. Just remembering that there are people who are really like, oh, this is sinful, this is evil and stuff. And that's not always a good feeling, you know? Um, when people say say negative things like that towards you or make you question it as well. Like, is this evil? Is this sinful? I'm not really gonna get into religion, but you can believe in whatever you want to believe in. You have that right, you have that freedom. And also just go off of how you feel and what you think is best for your life. You know who you are at the end of the day. You know what you believe in. People are gonna have their opinions and it's just like live your life live your life i'm live my life okay all right everyone does not have good intentions when it comes to manifesting there are people out here who aren't good and that is just life and they just have ill ill intentions i don't support using manifestation for ill intent whether towards yourself or towards other people. I don't support that. This isn't a space for that. I think using manifestation for good, using manifestation to help you in your life. Another thing that no one tells you about manifesting is you can start to feel like bad about yourself or feel like something's wrong with you if you don't want to manifest or even if you're not doing it right and you're just like why isn't this working for me this is something i talk about a lot on my channel of being patient and kind to yourself and it's okay and nothing is wrong with you and we all have our days we all have our times and just doing what feels right do what you want to do what feels good low pressure you don't want to stress yourself out from this or just overthink things you want to just 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 let it flow let it let it let it flow another thing that nobody tells you about manifestation is there are levels to it and when it comes to spirituality and th that connection to manifestation there are levels to it you can go as deep as you want to but I just want you guys to be aware of that. So I may actually talk about this more on another video. I'm not sure, I feel like this could be like a story time or something, but you can choose what you wanna do, what you don't wanna do. You can be like, hold up, wait a minute, this is, this is not for me. Or, you know, I'd rather stick to just affirmations and visualization and I don't want to start getting into other things. I know some people on my channel want me to talk about crystals. Y'all, I don't use crystals. I don't think I want to use crystals. But at this moment, I like manifesting without like adding additional things to help. Like I, I like the way I'm doing it. But who knows how I will feel tomorrow so don't quote me on that. But I don't use it so. But the last thing that I want to say that no one tells you about manifesting is you don't have to manifest everything. When I'm talking about manifestation, I'm talking about more so like intentional manifesting. Like you know what you're doing. Like you like, I want this and I want to align myself with this. But I don't feel like everything needs a ten intentional manifesting. Like I feel like only if it's like needed or if you wanna do it because I feel like it's just a lot of energy or at least in my experience, it's a lot of energy. If I'm trying to intentionally manifest something, like y'all, I'm focused, focused. I'm like, oh no, nah, this is it. I need to have all of my energy and my mindset on this thing because this, this, this needs to happen. And, and I let it flow, but at the same time, I gotta be in alignment. And I don't want to do that for everything. Y'all, on this manifestation and spiritual journey, I'm just learning a lot. 
and I just wanted to share some of my experiences with you and also touch on some things that nobody probably really talks about when it comes to manifesting and these are some things that you probably go through you probably experience or will experience I would say it's definitely different for every person just because I named something or talked about something on here doesn't necessarily mean that you'll go through it or experience it but it is possible and i just wanted to let you guys know about it also if you experience any of these things that i talked about comment below if you have any thoughts about anything that i talked about comment below as well so that is the end of my video if you enjoyed this video and you found value in it Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video.